What is going on everybody and today I'm here with another MLB 16 The Show Rebuilding Franchise and in the last video I told you guys to vote in the straw poll and the mo uh, the highest team with the most votes was the Miami Marlins so we're sticking in the, uh, in the NL East since we did the Phillies in the first NL team pretty much. But I will have a straw poll in the link below with teams that I think need rebuilding. So I'm not going to throw like the Mets or the Blue Jays or teams like that down there. I'm just going to throw teams that I think would need rebuilding. I think the Braves were close second and the Astros were also up there. So this Miami Marlins team, honestly, two players are safe for now. And that's obviously Jaron Carlson and Jose Fernandez. D Gordon could be here, but I might trade him. I'm going to see what happens. But I think I'll keep him, even though he's suspended in real life. But... They don't really have any top prospects, and I think I'm going to look to trade. I don't even know what to do with this team right now. I think I might just wait out season one and just see what happens, and then just go from there in the offseason. Maybe I should trade Martin Prado. Maybe that's somebody I should move. Yeah, I think I'll move Martin Prado, maybe for a good pitcher, uh, if I can even get one. Let's see. But I just want a decent pitcher, just to, like start out, like a Drew Smiley. Just like, uh... What would I have to give up? Martin Prado and AJ Ramos? Ugh. I don't want to give up AJ Ramos. I just want to see what I can get. I uh, would have to give up all that for Chris Archer. No, thank you. Marcus Stroman, what would I have to give up? Yep. Chris Sale, obviously no. Salazar would be interesting. Ozuna, Caps, and Conley. Ugh. Edison Volquez. Uh, Rich Hill. Taiwan Walker would be cool. Let's see what it takes to get him. Alright, what if I took out... Ozuna and I made it Prado. Uh, Alright. Mm, Darvish? Oh, that's close. You know, I'm just gonna see what trades I can get for Prado and then that'll be it for now. What do I want? I'll just look at everything. Prospects and MLB ready players. I'd prefer an MLB ready player, but whatever happens, happens. Uh, I'm not gonna call Beltron. I, I saw an A potential. I'm like, whoa. And I realized it was Carlos Beltran. But, ooh, Carl sent He's a C potential with the Operation Sports rosters. That seems low. Thought he would be a B. Houston Street, no. I don't want a reliever. Robinson, that's actually not that bad. Uh, Bartolo Colon. No, I'll just take this Roman Quinn offer. He seems like he's a pretty good prospect. 69 overall B potential. So let's do that. And yeah, that'll be for me now. And I'll see you guys at the end of season one. All right, guys. We finished with a 70-92 record. So a pretty disappointing season. But that's what I kind of expected. We'll go to the stats here. Jose Fernandez was just a beast. Everybody else is pretty much won't be here next year. We and Chen actually probably will. Because he's actually not that bad. He'll probably be here. Tom Kohler might be here. AJ Ramos was god freaking awful. I don't even know anybody else in this bullpen. It's all crap. I gotta freaking blow up this team in the offseason. Gian Carlson was an absolute beast. 299 average, 43 home runs. D Gordon was good as well. 290 average at the top of the order. Christian Yelich was alright. If his trade value is really high, I might explore offers for him, but nothing said so just yet. Justin Bohr hit 27 home runs. So honestly, he could be our starting first baseman next year. Ozuna was pretty trash, so I might look at offers for him, and same with Real Muto, and then Ichiro, he had 61 hits this year, so I don't know, that gives him, oh, he's four away from a thousand, now that sucks, I feel bad now, oh, I wish he got four more freaking hits, the Giants defeat the Rangers, so a, uh, not a rematch, but the Rangers, I just, they can never win a World Series, when they went back to back years, and they lost to the Giants and the Cardinals, uh, Sucks. I felt bad for Ranger fans, but Ichiro does retire, so and he gets inducted to the Hall of Fame now. But with four hits away from a thousand, uh, three thousand. Now we have to manage contracts. Jose Fernandez. How much would it be to offer him a contract? Thirteen. Actually, I'm gonna withdraw that because I can probably get less than that with arbitration. So I'll go through all these offers and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, I'm done making offers, and we're gonna have about twenty-four million in free agency money. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much bringing back everybody. Uh, that was uh, contract was up, but a lot of people are gonna end up getting traded anyways Because our bullpen is literally garbage and we only have 24 million to work with so it's not like we can sign a lot of free agents But it is a lot of money. So Let's see. Let's get into the free agency Jose Fernandez, but he's on arbitration. All right, so it looks like it's not that nice of a free agency class 
batters wise uh yeah i don't want to go after cargo or carlos gomez not carlos gonzalez but we see uh jeremy blevins wants two and a half million a year that's not bad like if i gave him 2.8 i think he would take that carlos villano waiver wants 1.6 i'll give you 2 million any good closers wade davis is here uh craig holland wants 7.4 million i think i'll do that yeah, let's give that. Nobody's giving him an offer anyway. So if I offered him that, that would pretty much be the big one. And I don't think I'm going to go after anybody else. Yeah, there's nobody really that interests me here. So let's simulate a couple days. Mullins can know. What? Why can we? And I bet you he goes to the freaking Cardinals. Nice. Why? It's his available budget pending offers $30 million. That's so dumb. Why wouldn't let me offer them contracts like 33 million available budget like i have 20 million in budget room uh maybe i just can't i don't even know that's so weird okay you know what this is stupid i'm just gonna revamp the team at the start of the regular season i'll see you guys there all right guys so we're gonna be making this trade with the cubs we're getting uh their closer hector rondon because they have melanson now and we're getting a reliever, Adam Warren, and we're getting Kyle Schwarber for Christian Yelich and AJ Ramos. So we're going to be doing that trade, and that's the first of our many trades. Okay, guys, so we're going to be trading um, Denny Hechevarria, Marcelo Zuna, and JT Romuto for Travis Shaw and Jackie Bradley Jr. And I think I'm going to move Kyle Schwarber to catcher. And I think I'm going to come to sense that I'm going to tank this year again. Like, I'm not going to expect to do anything. And then next year is where we gotta like put in the high gear and i might do a four season if like this team's still looking crappy because this is a lot harder than i thought to do so this is the team as of now and i'll see you guys at the end of the regular season guys we're about to finish the regular season and yeah 72 and 90 records so we sucked once again pitching rotation jose fernandez had the, almost the same era as last year jared kozart was pretty bad again or he wasn't he was okay we and chen was pretty good once uh, again from last year Hector Rondon was a beast. Ryan Cook, who I got in the Rule 5 draft, wasn't that good. Daniel Hudson, who I traded for midseason, was the only trade I made. Was pretty good. Adam Warren was trash. 5.5 ERA. Jesus, that's bad. And then we're going to head over to the lineups. Jackie Bradley Jr., 250 average, hit 17 home runs. Uh, not bad. Justin Bohr hit 18 home runs. I might need to trade him or try to look for a new first baseman. Stanton was a beast again. Schwarber did all right. Travis Shaw kind of disappointed me. Thought he was going to do a lot better than that. And then D. Gordon batted 279. And I think I'm going to trade him in the offseason. Uh, his overall is kind of going down. So we're going to simulate the postseason here. See who wins it. The Dodgers beat the Tigers. We're going to advance into the offseason. Screw uh Go past the retired plays. Rollins, Beltran, A-Rod, and Beltre headed to the Hall of Fame. I'm going to do these managed contracts, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, guys. I finished re-signing everybody, and we're going to have a decent amount of cap space this year. We should have a little bit above $40 million or something around there. And hopefully, I can land a big name free agent, and it doesn't screw me over like last year, where it's like, oh, you don't have enough money. Because, ah, oh, there's free, free agent classes already. Right. I see Eric Hosmer, who was pretty good last year. Mike Musaka, so a pair of Royals. Are making it over here so starting pitchers Francisco Liriano is here he's asking for seven million a year which isn't bad so I'm gonna give him like about eight million a year and we still have 30 million in pending contracts so we're good there any closers no no one's there I think I'm gonna make an offer to Hos uh, do I want to make one to Hosmer how much is Moustakis asking for only 12 million a year. So let's give an offer to my stock. Is I'll give him 13 million a year. And then we'll, we should have a little bit left over. Do I want to sound like Eric Ibar or Jose Reyes? Alright, what if I gave... I want 8 million. I don't want to do that. Eduardo Nunez wants 6.8. How much does JJ Hardy want? 3.9. I don't even know if I want to do that. Jose Batista. He had 33 home runs last year. Let's give it a try. Let's offer him a deal. Uh, what can go wrong, right? Uh, so hopefully I could sign some of these players. Eric Hosmer goes to the Nats. Okay, that's in their division. He's no longer interested in our offer, and I think Liriano, Liriano accepted our offer. So we got to offer him a bigger deal. Let's give him. Honestly, I'll give you fourteen million dollars a year. That should be a lot. Yeah, that's his number one offer. Come on. 
Damn it, he goes to the Yankees. What? Over four years? Ah, uh, all right. What about Batista? Is he still interested? Yeah, we're the only offer. All right, who's like the top free agent left? Ibar? I'll give Ibar a two-year deal. Where is only offer? Uh, John Jason, no thanks. Damn, I struck out on free agency again this year. That's rough. Come on, Batista. Sign with us. And uh, Batista's gonna hold out, isn't he? Ah, uh, he's gonna be annoying. There we go, we get Ibar. Dodgers wanna trade us. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna trade D Gordon until the start of the regular season, so like everybody's under contract. Alright, so I'll see you guys at the start of the regular season as of now, and Batista accepts our deal, so there we go. Alright, I'm here at the start of the 2018 regular season. I'm gonna throw up D Gordon on the trade block, see what I can get from MLB ready players only, and hopefully I can get a nice offer for a. Ooh, Adam Jones. Alright, so I'm seeing I'm getting decent offers straight off the bat. I would like a starting pitcher, to be honest. Outfield wouldn't hurt. Second, short. Anything like that. Uh, who is that? Jose Abreu. That's interesting. Okay, I gotta keep that one in mind. If I can give, like, two solid players, and I think my voice just cracked badly there, I would be happy. Uh, Joe Mauer and Jorge Bull. No, thanks. No one from that trade. No one from that trade. Uh, I don't want Nelson Cruz. Cole Hamels is interesting. That might be someone I want. Anthony Rendon, no thanks. Michael Conforto, but he's not like an A potential. I'd rather him be that. Javier Baez, Mark Mullins, then no. Uh, nothing there. Who's that? Tony Watson. Gregory Polanco is an 87 overall. What has he done so far this year? Or in this? He hasn't done much. Uh. Who was that one person that I liked? Oh, the Cole Hamill trade. That was the one I liked. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I will. I think that's my best offer. And then I, I think I'm going to go for Jose Abreu just because he's really easy to get in this. Gerardo Parra, Jake McGee, no. Colton Wong, no thanks. All right. Let's go to the Rangers. Let's get Cole Hamels on the team. Yeah, let's do it. Pull the trigger. Cole Hamels. There we go. Now let's go to, over to the White Sox. Uh, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Let's go to Prospects. I can't get any Prospects for him. I would have to give up Ibar. I don't want to give up Rondon, though. He's my closer. Oh, Budget, though. That's going to be annoying. Alright, what if I took out Nicolino, too? What if I throw in Wee and Chen? Because we just got Hamels. Uh, I'd rather keep Liriano, I think. Oh, no. We can do Cozart. I'll do Cozart. And now, I think I just can throw in this guy. Alright, so we're getting Jose Preyu on the team. That is nice. Now, I'm going to look to try to get a, I guess, shortstop. I don't even know. Let's see what I can get for these two players. That prospect is uh, Roman Quinn, I think his name. I got him from Martin Prado. He's doing very well. His value is going up. And I think I'm going to do a fourth season in this because there's no way we're even going to make the playoffs with this team. This was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, uh, to be honest. Or I'm just not even going to make a trade. Zach Britton? That's not. That's an interesting trade. Blake Swihart. Uh, he's a C potential now. What? Uh... Jake Thompson, no thanks. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait till the end of the regular season. And yes, yeah, so I'll see you guys there. And this will hopefully be our last bad year. <laughs> All right, so an 82 and 80 record honestly wasn't that bad. We could have did a lot better, but we had a really shitty September. But we went over 500 is what I'm happy with. Uh, we would not even been, we would have been six games out of the playoffs anyway. But Jose Fernandez. Had a great year. Tom Cole had a great year. Cole Hamels had a nice year. Nicolino had a nice year. And I don't even know who that guy is or why he's in the lineup. Oh, because I traded Wee and Chen at the All-Star break because I needed to clear up casters for this year's free agency. Roman Quinn, that guy we traded for Martin Prado, is a 79 overall. Uh, Stanton had another insane year. Jose Abreu had a great year. Batista, uh, not really. I should have traded him. Actually, I'm going to look to trade him once the offseason starts. Cubs defeat the Blue Jays. All right. Who's going to go into the Hall of Fame? We'll check now. And it is Nelson Cruz. Okay. He makes it to the Hall of Fame. I'm going to do these offers. Oh, I got to give him money. Up oh, there goes up. 30 million of my salary right there. 
Alright guys, I have 19 million in cap space and I'm so annoyed right now. I wish Jose Fernandez was under team control for another year. Does he he better accept our offer anyway? Because I'm giving him all my money. Okay, we get Hector Rondon. And of course, Jose Fernandez does not sign with us yet. But damn, okay, Josh Donaldson's here, but I'm gonna have nowhere near enough money to sign him. This free agency class was alright. I thought it could have been maybe a lot better. Uh, there's some nice pitchers in here. Gio Gonzalez is asking for $5 million a year. Uh, hello. I'll take I'll take you up on that offer. Ah, uh, yes, please. You Darvish wanted $12 million. Uh, he's been god-awful the past couple of years, though, so I don't even want to give him that. Uh, can I get Batista away for, like, that? Wait, can I actually get a decent player for Batista? actually kind of can what the heck who wants him brett cecil how good is he yes please okay i'll take brett cecil on my team for jose batista bring him back i'll send him back to toronto uh there's some nice closers like zach Britton's here i might offer him a deal catcher no first baseman catchers morales is here 34 home runs last year he only wants 6.7 million uh i will do this and then like, this is just too, like, valuable of an offer. Like, $6.7 million for someone that hit 30 home runs in the past... Or has hit pretty much 28 home runs in the past three years. Like, I will take that. DJ Mayhew. Uh, I don't really want to go with that. How much is he asking for? $18 million. Gardner's asking for $4 million. I'm not going to offer him. Charlie Blackman would be nice. 27 home runs in the past couple years. Okay, I'll offer him that. And I think that's all I could do. So these are my offers. Hopefully I can maybe get all of them. We get Charlie Blackman. That's nice. Zach Burton goes to the Giants. I just want Jose Fernandez. And he's no longer interested. No. And he just went to Texas. I just saw he went to Texas. God damn. This Marlins rebuilding has been so freaking frustrating. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. Damn it. And god damn. Uh, I have money now and Donaldson got signed. Honestly, I gotta go after Darvish now. I have to give him money. And that's not even the best offer. Alright, what if I give you... He doesn't even want to come to Miami. What if I gave him $15 million? I'm so overspending, but I just have all this money now. Damn it. Why does he want to go to Boston so badly? I'll give you $16 million a year. If you don't accept this, I don't know what else I could do, dude. Alright, we're his second best offer. I'll offer Homer Bailey an 8... Yeah, that's good. Charlie Morton. Now I can offer... Oh, there's no good closers now. Mike Dunn. These are all my guys. As long as I can get Kendrick Morales, I'll offer him a deal. Actually, I can't. We'll go over the thing. I only have 7 million left. Uh, if I gave Reyes like 6.4, I could do that. I think. And he goes to the freaking Dodgers. Oh, that's annoying. We get Gio Gonzalez. Ah, uh, yeah, there he goes to the Dodgers. Homer Bailey is no longer interested, but I need you, Homer Bailey. Oh, uh, now he's getting interest from other teams. This is annoying. I'll give you $10 million a year, dude. Your best offer. I'm overpaying for these guys, but I have nothing else to do. How are you no longer interested? And he signed somewhere else. Uh, I gotta go give, like, Charlie Morton a deal. This has been rough. All right, I have to make sure he signs with us, so I'm gonna give him $9 million a year. I honestly don't care at this point. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman who wants seven million a year. If I give you a one-year deal, and let's see what happens now. Kendrick Morales comes. That's nice. DJ Mayhew goes to the Royals. Ryan Zimmerman goes to the Red Sox. So I'll see you guys at the start of the regular season, where I have to just I have my last go at things. All right. So season number four. This is the rotation going into the year. Like it's not bad. Uh, that's the lineup. That's not bad either. Like that's a good lineup. Like, Schwarber, Shaw, Blackman, Abreu, Stanton. I think I just I need to trade for some pitchers. So, honestly, where are my top prospects at? I gotta get rid of you guys. Do I have any A's yet? Stone Garrett. I know I have an A. I thought I, ate, I had an A pitcher somewhere. There he is. Tommy Shantz, or Tom Shantz. Let's see what I can get for him and this guy. MLB ready players. Come on. I can definitely get, like, a good pitcher. Really? Nothing? Alright, you know what? What pitcher would I want for these two guys? David Pro Okay. Obviously, they have to be cheap. And honestly... Okay, they won't even do that. I guess he doesn't even have that high of trade value. Because I can't... Can I get Kluber for them? 
No. I can't even get like a good player. Wait, so right field stands and center fields. Honestly, I'll trade this guy too. Uh, yeah, I'll trade those three guys. Can I get someone good? Please, please, I'm so desperate right now for something. Alex Cobb, okay, Clay Buckles. Aaron Sanchez. Can I get like a good, like, a top pitcher? Kyle Zimmer. Marcus uh, Cano, no thank you. Tanner Roark, Trey Turner. Come on, Mitch. You don't know from me like Steven Matz. Kyle Hendricks is honestly my best go, I think. Or Rasio Iglesias. Uh, Lance wins not bad. John Gray's only a 73. Jeff Samarja. What has he done the past couple years? He's been, oh my god, he's been amazing. Screw it. Let's get the Shark on the team. I don't even care. This is the last go with things. We gotta just go all out here. So that's the rotation. The bullpen's looking tight. The lineups haven't changed. Bradley's off the bench. Actually, no. Uh, I want Bradley starting in left field. Uh, let's just switch his position with Schwarber. Alright, so this is going to be for me now. And I'll see you guys at the end of... Actually, wait. No, I can't. I have to trade either Morales or Abreu. Who do I want to trade? Let's see what I can get for Abreu. Let's see what I can get for Abreu. Because Morales' stats have been amazing over the past couple years, so... I want him, like, a good infielder would be nice. Uh, Cole Calhoun. I don't need outfield. Okay. You know, I'm gonna make a trade. I'll see you guys at the end of the regular season. I'll just tell you guys the trade I make there. September, and we're pretty much 20 games under 500. So I would say this rebuilding was a big failure. This was honestly a lot harder to do than the Phillies rebuild. But the trade I made with Jose Abreu, I did get Joe Panic. I don't even know. We Wow, this was the worst record we ever had. And I feel like this is the best team we've ever had. Like, this team was so much better than last year's. Like, Cole Hamels, Gonzalez, Samarja. Of course, when he comes here, he does terrible. Uh, Liriano, Charlie Morton. Like, okay, the back end wasn't that good. The bullpen was solid. Like, these four guys were pretty good. Hector Rondon wasn't bad. Uh, we had Schwarberg, Catcher, Kendrick Morales. It was pretty freaking good. Joe Panic batted 296. Travis Shaw hit 39 home runs and 100 RBIs. Uh, Jorge Flores, I don't even know who that is, but that's where we kind of sucked at shortstop. Schwarber, our catcher, batted 283, hit 27 home runs. Starting left fielder, hit 16 home runs. Charlie Blackman hit 16 home runs and stole 14 bases. And then Stanton hit 45 home runs. So I don't even know what else I could have done. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would have done with this team. And don't forget to vote in the straw poll. Uh, in the description of what team you want me to see use next. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more MLB Rebuildings. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.